Hello, everybody. So I'm being called to do a little video on what exactly is a soul embodiment coach. Well, you are looking at her. <laughs> I'm so good at telling people what to do. So this is what I do. It's really about you telling yourself what to do. So let's talk about that for a second. So we were brought into this world and we're on the mission of the mind. How much schooling we're supposed to have, um, what area we're supposed to live in, how much money we're supposed to make, um, you know, are you supposed to get married, who you're supposed to marry, how many kids you're supposed to have, like, all the, the things in all the columns of the mission of the mind. And we're, we've bypassed the mission of the soul. Remember, we're a soul. We're a light body soul housed in a physical body. And the soul is being walked around by the physical body. And it's here to gain a lot of experiences, good, bad, and different. So it's data. It's data that the soul keeps for you. It's in the records of all things. So you designed your plan before you got here. And your soul just keeps nudging you saying, hey, you're supposed to go do this. And then your mind says, no, I was taught I gotta do this. I'm not gonna be able to do what I want or what I'm being called to do till later. So there's, a, there's this inner battle between, you know, the spirit soul and the ego. And the ego has its place. It just wants you to stay in, in the comfort zone. It's trying to protect you doesn't want you going out of boundaries and the boundaries of what's been programmed since the moment you were given birth to. And so the soul's here to tell you, uh-uh, uh-uh, expand those boundaries. Get out there, venture, pioneer, get going with it. So, I help coach you through that. So how do you expand your consciousness? How do you expand the boundaries that have been placed upon you and that you've given permission to be there? But there's this little inner voice saying, hey, how about over here? And then let's say you listen to that voice and you're trying to get over there to accomplish certain things, right? And experience them. But you get sabotaged or you sabotage yourself or you trip over this or you trip over that. And then you may stop and think, I have a pattern here, but you're not sure how to break it. So many people will go to traditional therapy and do all kinds of different things but they're forgetting to consult with the divine soul. So how do you do that? Well, I have a lot of different tools in my tool belt. And it's intuitive. It's, it's what you want to do. Um, we go through relaxation techniques where we help the chatter of the mind take a nap and allow the expressive part of the mind to come forward to speak to us. And then we can do some regression work, which is where the guides will open a window or a portal to a scene, a memory, a lifetime, whatever you choose to call it. And there'll be a lesson there. 
that will help you in this moment, this now moment of your life here. So it's an exploration, not just of yourself, but of the yearning of the soul wanting to commune with you and be embodied with you and share with you all the things that you said you wanted to do and explore and overcome and be. So sometimes we have to shed some layers. We have to explore down different avenues. And then I'm right there by your side, tuning in with you. Not gonna say it's a totally fun trip because sometimes, yeah, we gotta stop, drop, sit, connect with the breath, work through some drama trauma. But hey, you wanna get to a better destination you're going to have to you're going to have to hit a hurdle or two and you're going to have to practice getting over that hurdle and the only person that can stop you is you the only person that can sabotage you is you so once you explore where those little hidden obstacles are and you release them because they no longer have power over you and you're learning to embody your soul. Hmm. It's pretty freaking cool. I'm telling you, it's pretty. So let me help you on this journey. Look up my website, embodimentofthesoul.com. Look at my schedule, make an appointment. And in the time you make that appointment is the time when we energetically connect. And the journey begins from there. All right. I look forward to meeting each and every one of you. I do. Have a wonderful, blessed day. And if you're in the States and you celebrate Thanksgiving, just enjoy it, no matter what is going on. No matter what is going on. Do your best to stay in a higher vibration frequency. Because you have control of your happiness. You do. All right.